Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Modded Kerbal Space Program playthrough. And this is the finale of setting up the Kerbal Space Program Center network of satellites. Just so we have permanent comms around the planet. So last episode I left it with the third satellite, not in the right orbit. But um, we're going to remedy that now. So this is now Comsat 2. And I need to get rid of all the junk that's in orbit. Just like that. Now I'm allowing it to catch up. Um, sorry, fall further behind and settle it in between these two satellites which are on opposite sides of the planet and now give us a permanent line of sight on that side what I'm not realizing here at the moment is that flight computer and smart assist are both competed against each other and it's not holding orbital retrograde properly. But it gets close enough. So now I switch back to the other satellite to fix even Comsat 1. I decided to straighten out because being on opposite sides of the planet I wasn't exactly there and I thought it would be best to straighten it up a bit just for neatness more than anything else. So I extend the apoapsis so it's got a bigger orb, um, decrease the apoapsis so it's got a bigger, a smaller orbit and then it will start to move ahead of the other two satellites. <clears throat> so it's just about to run that burn. still see smart assistant flight computer fighting each other and there I get it there so now it's moving slightly faster around the planet than the other two so it's moving further ahead in this sequence slowly bit by bit I just wait to bump it out a bit further so it moves faster each orbit, moves further each orbit ahead. So you can now see the distance between Comsat 1 and 2 growing. You can now see that almost on opposite sides of the planet. Uh, 
And I think that's far enough. So I'm much all but it's near enough. With a maneuver node, then I'll do it manually to get it in the exact same orbital period. Down to the thousandth of a second. Just accelerate around in a minute. And as you can see on that side of the planet now, on the bottom side, we see the three satellites all linked to each other, and at least one of them connected to the KSC at all times. So, at the moment, we have a satellite connected to the KSC, and anything connected to any one of those three satellites, three quarters of a Kerbin day. This comes in handy later as you move further out to the moon and Minmus, the two moons of Kerbin. Um, what it means is you can maintain a constant contact with the KSC. There is another stage to this that comes later on where you need something that's going to transmit a lot further distance than what is currently available. I'm manually adjusting the orbital period and now they're exactly the same so I switch back to Comsat 2 which was the most recent launched one and fine-tune its orbital period as well So back to the space center. And at this point, I just look through what contracts are available because a few days have passed and a lot more have uh, popped up for the next episode, which are going to be uh, space plane missions. I want to take as many space plane missions as I can because when I played through, uh, just learning the game a bit, obviously not perfectly. Um, I kept turning down the space plane missions and eventually they just stopped giving me any space plane missions whatsoever and I don't want that to be the case. But since I did that playthrough I have got the Mark IV plane system added in which mean, makes them much more, how can I put it, um, viable to be able to reach into space so you can actually like take off from a runway exit the atmosphere and re-enter in a giant space plane sort of like a shuttle and in a way i will be setting them up like a shuttle i will have rocket boosters detachable rocket boosters on the outside of the space plane but anyway the last satellite for the satellite system well, i learned my lesson finally from the previous attempts and use decouplers, uh, sorry stack separators rather than decouplers, much less ejection forces, much less violent. 
Maybe it's the smallest one I can find. <clears throat> and that makes it much easier when we separate the unmanned section. But it does mess up my staging, which I'm fixing now. Looks good. So this is Comsat 4. Jebediah looks happy. <laughs> This is his first satellite, third satellite launch mission. Gravity turn. Just struggling with the overall weight of the thing. Circular eyes, just a standard launch really. There's the solar panels out, and the communication antennas out. So here goes the burn circular eyes. This takes up the chunk of our Delta V. Burning a bit of our Terrier fuel there just to get the last bit of Delta V needed to circularize it. And then we're in a pretty good position already to get into where we need to. So if we adjust the plane quickly. Still using Comsat 1 as our target, set everything against Comsat 1 and you end up pretty close. There we go, that matches the plane with the other three satellites. the apoapsis. I'm going to let it overtake and here we go again. So I'm going to do it from this side. And I decide that's a bad idea and <laughs> do it from the side I originally planned. I figured this will should get us into the right orbit at just the right time, or close enough to only have to make small adjustments.
And then it's a case of immediately. Just points in retrograde a bit, bring it down a little bit. This one a little bit too far. close enough so now I can set the other maneuver node on the other side I think I went a bit too far there as well there we go so then I have the maneuver node on that side you can see I'm right clicking on the target uh, Perihelios this just to see what it is and try to match it as close as possible. Although the flight computer never gets it exactly right, nor does Megajet. You have to do all that. If you want precision, you have to do it by hand. So, let's wait until the computer faces the node and then warping up to the maneuver. I feel like I'm still moving ahead. So, I'm not as far ahead as what I thought I would be, but that's easily fixable. slow burn. So as you can see I've set the apoapsis, um, or as it is now the periapsis, uh, lower so I can move faster in front. And this is where I decouple, look at that, much less violent. <laughs> so whilst that's still drifting through orbit and still gaining ground on the other satellite in front of it, I decide to bring Jebediah back home get that part of the mission out of the way.
so just doing the material studies once I have the chance to get the science on the way back down. coasting through the atmosphere. Just coming through the last stages of slowing down. Now go to shoots. Learn my lesson, surface up. Land it on land, keep it upright. There we go. Jeb and I recovered safely with a bit of science. So now it's just time to fine tune the satellites. So he's only he's got a way to go to get ahead. I'm just gonna get rid of the debris. too quickly. I kind of realise this and realise I'm going to need to slow it down some, so I go bigger. See, it lost contact with the satellite behind it. We went too far. Just coming up to the burn to correct that. <clears throat> we should have done one orbit less before we did the correction burn, basically. I 
kind of figure from this point. One or two orbits. There we go. That's two orbits. So now I just add the mover with the periapsis. Why is the periapsis now? And bring it down. To match, roughly. Bring the thrust limiter down to make sure it's a bit more accurate. And now we've lost, lost contact with the satellite in front of us, so I produce even further so I can catch back up. It's difficult to get this exactly right, but I do put it off eventually. There we go. I'm just going to accelerate time until we get a connection with both, which isn't going to take long. Just like that. Let it go a bit further so it looks even-ish. We stop there, I believe. Yep. Now I'm going to match all this. So now I'm just fine tuning the orbital period as with all the others so that they stay in the exact same position, never lose contact with each other. So that's matched and that is it. So I just need now yep, rename. And then it's a case of waiting. The system, the ComSat system has to be up for two days in order for the contract to be complete. So I just skip two days. And there we go. That is the satellite network system complete, that contract complete. And that sets us up for further travel deeper into space. So just with a bit of extra cash now, looking through my upgrades. To the actual KSC itself. Mission control is still only level two at the moment. Which means we can have seven contracts, I believe. We can't afford to upgrade the tracking station to level three. But we are going to need more astronauts as we start thinking about space stations and stuff. So the astronaut complex does need to be upgraded. Go ahead and do that. And that's where I leave the episode. So thank you all for watching. And come back next time for a bunch more contracts, I expect. See you later.